What are germs for kids? Today, we are going to talk all about a little something called germs. Curious? Scared? Well, never fear. We are here to talk about what germs are, how they are spread, and what you can do to stay as healthy as possible. Let's get started. Everyone, meet Susie. Susie has not been able to stop sneezing. Her nose is runny, and her eyes are watering. She also has a fever. Can you guess what is wrong? If you said that Susie is sick, you're right. Susie has a cold, which comes from a certain type of germ called a virus. But do not worry. With some medicine, soup, and rest, Susie will be feeling much better soon. It is important to understand the reasons why we get sick. So, let's talk about germs. What are germs? Germs are all around us and are so tiny. The only way you can see one with your eyes is through a microscope. Like other living things, germs can grow and multiply quickly. Some germs can be contagious which means that they can be spread from person to person. But other germs can actually be helpful to your body and to your health. There are four different types of germs. These four types are called bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. We are going to talk about each one, starting now. Bacteria Bacteria love to live on the outside and inside of your body. In fact, they like it so much, they never want to leave. Bacteria are made up of just one cell, which does not seem that huge, but they can still make you sick. These germs can cause things like ear infections, sore throats, pneumonia, and even cavities. Sometimes if you are sick from an infection caused by bacteria, your doctor may give you an antibiotic, which helps fight these specific kinds of germs. One of the most common antibiotics is called penicillin. Did you know that bacteria can be good too? Good bacteria live in your intestines and help your body get the nutrients it needs from the food you eat. Here is an interesting fact. Yogurt is full of good bacteria. This kind of germ is also used to make medicines and vaccines, which help keep your body healthy and safe. Pretty cool, right? Viruses Viruses are germs that need to be inside a living cell or host in order to survive. Since your body has millions of cells, Viruses have lots of possible places to live. Once they get inside a cell, they begin to multiply when the cell multiplies, which is what makes you sick. Examples of viruses include chickenpox, measles, influenza, and coronavirus. Even though viruses can seem scary, there are special kinds of medicines that have been created to help fight or prevent them altogether. These are called vaccines or immunizations, which are usually given to you by your doctor in the form of a shot. Because of vaccines, diseases like measles and the chickenpox have become more and more rare. Depending on the virus, you may need more than one vaccine like a flu shot you get once a year. Fungi Fungi are like plants and are made up of lots of cells. They can live by feeding off of other plants, people, or animals. Fungi like to live in warm and wet places, like in between a person's toes. Ever heard of the word fungus before? Here's an interesting fact. A fungus is one single fungi. Sometimes fungal infections can spread from person to person, 
or even from plant to plant. Many fungi are pretty harmless though and will not cause problems for healthy people. Some examples of different fungi are athlete's foot and some types of skin infections and rashes. Protozoa Last but not least are protozoa. Like bacteria and viruses, protozoa are single-celled organisms. And, like fungi, they like to live in wet places. Many protozoa live in the water, which is how they spread disease and infections. Water that is unsafe to drink probably have protozoa living in it. Stomach bugs, diarrhea, and nausea, or feeling like you have to throw up, can all be caused by protozoa. Whew! That was a lot of germ talk. And maybe you're feeling a little overwhelmed or unsure of what you can do to help stop the spread of germs. Here are some tips to help you stay healthy. Most all types of germs can be spread through the air when a person sneezes, coughs or breathes, sweat, saliva or spit, and blood can also spread germs. They can also be spread by touching things or other people, like a high five or a handshake. Which is why hand washing is super important. One of the best ways to stop the spread of germs is by washing your hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds. Make sure you rub both the fronts and backs of your hands, in between your fingers and under your fingernails and around your wrists. Try singing or humming the happy birthday song while you're washing your hands. This will help you make sure you do it for 20 seconds. It is also important to wash your hands every time you cough or sneeze, before you eat or make meals, before you touch your face, and after using the bathroom, playing outside, touching pets, or visiting someone who is sick. When you do cough or sneeze, try to do it in your elbow or in a tissue to keep the germs from getting on your hands. Another way to stop the spread of germs is to wear a mask when you are feeling sick, or if you know you are going to be around someone who gets sick easily. Eating healthy foods, exercising your body, and getting a good night's sleep can also help. Like we mentioned earlier, other germs can be stopped when you get a shot from your doctor. These vaccines help your body recognize a germ and then battle against it. Okay, we have learned lots about germs, and now it is time to see what you remember. True or false? Good bacteria help your body stay healthy. True! Fill in the blank. Blank are the only kind of germ that are made up of more than one cell. This is a tricky one. Fungi. What is the shot called you get from your doctor to help prevent some diseases? Vaccine or immunization? Great job, germ experts! At some point in time, your body will get sick. Most people get sick multiple times throughout their lives. But if you do your part to help stop the spread, you will not get sick as often and will help protect others in your community from getting sick. When we take care of our bodies and work together, we can help each other stay healthy and safe. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.